Welcome everyone to a Unreal Engine tutorial. This is going to be a series where we are going to build some functions around this character. Maybe we change the skin of this character later on. And we are going to try and put a sword into his hand and we are going to try and make some animations. So for the first video, we'll try and keep it as simple as it can be. And uh, let's get into it. So we're not going to import anything. We're going to try to do everything with the assets that are included with this package. And uh, for the first video, what we're going to do is try and add a sword into his hand. We obviously don't have a sword, so we're going to use a simple cube to indicate a sword. And uh, then we are going to build a simple function to add a sword into his hand. So obviously we're going to start like this. And if we press a specific key, a sword will appear into his hand. So let's get into it. First of all, if you're not familiar with this interface, we have this what is called a blueprint. So as we can see in here, edit third person blueprint. So you can locate this blueprint over at content. If you don't have content, you can simply just click this icon in here. And you should see mannequin, character and third person blueprints. So navigate into blueprints and simply open it so this is our blueprint window over here we have our components so we have a kind of a root object and inside that root object we have all these components so what we're interested in is this mesh component right here so this is what essentially moves when we play the game and what we want to do is draw a sword into one of his hand so obviously if we click his hand, his whole entire body highlights. So we're going to try and work around for that. And to do that, we are going to define something called a socket. So you can define a socket in this view right here. So we're going to have to go into here and navigate into mannequin, character, and inside the character, we should see a folder called mesh. And inside the mesh, we have a mannequin skeleton. So this is our skeleton body. We can see that if we go into skeleton, you can see bones, you can see all the hierarchy. So this is the bone system. We're going to de-highlight that for now. And we are going to go ahead and navigate into his right arm. So we can just select his right arm and we can see his hand right here so what we're going to do is simply right click and add socket so this is going to help us a ton because we can just define a socket in here we can just place it a little bit lower right like this for example maybe rotate it just a little bit and now into play mode we can just spawn in a object right here so a appropriate thing to do right now is to just rename this to hand position and we are done with our skeleton so we can just hit save and close this for now so back into our blueprint what we're going to do is add component so we can add like a sphere a plane whatever i'm just going to add a cube for now then i'm going to select that cube and drop it inside this mesh right here so now what we can do is define a parent socket and we can just search for our socket right here and the cube will move with the socket so we can just replace it to zero maybe just scale it a little bit and there we go now he looks like he is holding the cube as a weapon but if we compile this and go back into play mode we can see that he obviously holds it but there's no way to actually equip it so what we're going to do is delete this cube from here and what we're going to do is go into our event graph so this is your event graph if you've chosen to build your game using blueprints so in here we are going to try and add a keyboard input and to do that we are just we can just simply hit right click somewhere into here type in keyboard and here we have all of our keys so for now i'm just going to do e and here is our e now to make sure that this E is working, we can just highlight this pressed in here and we can just do a very simple print string. What this is going to do is print a hello world or we're going to name this to pressed. We're going to hit compile and now if we go into play mode and hit E, we're going to see that up here it shows up. 
So we can just do that again as many times as we want and it will show up. So that is all good for now. We're going to delete this string and in here we are going to spawn a object. So the node that spawns in a object is called add static mesh component. Okay, so after adding a static mesh component, we're going to highlight the static mesh component and we're going to navigate over to static mesh right here. So in here is where we define what kind of mesh we want to be attached to our hand. So for now, I'm just going to do cube and now I'm done with this details. After you define a cube, what we want is to create a node after this return value. So drag this drop it in here and type in here attach to component this one right here so this takes in a target and it takes in a parent and for the parent you might have guessed it we are going to use this mesh right here so plug the mesh into the parent and now we're almost done now all we have to do is define the socket name so if you remember over at our mesh we have this skeleton we can just double click it and here is our skeleton mesh and we have already defined a hand position right here so what we're going to do is pass in that name position right here and now we have successfully passed it in here next i want to add a simple string that lets me know that i have officially added that object so i'm just going to do string and i'm just going to say spawned so now everything should be working fine if we hit compile and go back into our scene we should see the cube has actually popped up but the cube is way too big so let's fix that let's go back into our third person and in here we get to choose our relative transforms so we're gonna split that and now we have all our transforms so we have rotation location and scale so we're just gonna do the scale a little bit smaller something like 0.02 and now if we hit compile and go back into our scene, we can see that he holds a very tiny stick. So the stick now will stay into his hand, whatever he does. Okay, that's uh, very short and simple. I'm trying to keep these as simple as possible. And I'm trying to not import anything into this series as long as I can. So you can just learn the basics of Unreal. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll continue with this course in another video.